welcome to the HandyTrack installation video. Your typical HandyTrack system delivery will include three boxes, a data log and control box, your cabinet, your key panels, and a setup package, including an installation and user guide. Please take a moment to read through the guide before proceeding with the installation process. A double cabinet system would include five boxes, a data log and control box, your two cabinets, and your two boxes of key panels. The parts and tools you'll need are an uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, for surge protection, backup battery power, and to maintain the warranty on your new system. Mounting fasteners, capable of holding 50 pounds for masonry, drywall, wood or metal studs, drill and drill bits, a level, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and pliers. You'll also need a broadband internet connection. The touch system is Wi-Fi capable, but HandyTrack recommends a wired connection if available. Now that we have our parts and tools, we can begin the installation process. This is Caleb. He will be performing the installation, so let's get started. Your cabinet should be installed with the bottom being 44 inches from the floor. When possible, stack the two boxes your cabinet and control box came in. They will give you the height you need and provide support for ease of installation. Next, level the cabinet. Then make a mark in the six outermost edge holes and three of the holes in the middle. Install the anchors or drill pilot holes for fasteners at each mark. Use the appropriate anchors for your wall type. In this case, we'll be installing the system on a solid wood backed wall, so we'll drill pilot holes for the mounting screws. Start all your screws first. Re-level and then tighten. After the screws are all tight, check the level once more. With the control box in hand, fish the cables through the hole in the side of the cabinet. Make sure that the hole in the cabinet and control box line up. This will ensure that the wires will not get pinched and the excess wires can be fed back into the control box for a clean installation. Put the control box flush against the side of the cabinet, mark your holes, install anchors, or drill pilot holes, and mount your control box. Next, connect the three cables marked light, lock, and switch. Before you continue, make sure you have connected each of the cables correctly. Connection of the light cable to the lock cable can result in lock failure, so it is very important to ensure correct connections before powering up the system. If you have a double cabinet system, repeat the steps for mounting and connecting the second cabinet on the right hand side of the control box. Please reference your installation guide for installing the spacer on the right hand key cabinet. Insert the three sets of cables into the clips and tuck the wires back into the control box. Place each panel into the top hole, then drop into the matching bottom hole. For a double cabinet system, repeat this step with the second set of panels into the right hand cabinet. Now, plug the power cord into the Surge Plus battery side of the UPS, and your handy track system is ready to establish communications. Complete the installation by establishing communications and logging into your HandyTrack website portal. You can email service at HandyTrack.com or call 888-458-9994, option 3, to speak with a HandyTrack technician. A technician can create your account and answer any questions you may have about the new system setup process.